Dialectical materialism is Karl Marx's theory of reality that views matter as the sole subject of change and all change is the product of a constant conflict between opposites arising from the internal contradictions inherent in all events, ideas and movements. Dialectical materialism can be broken down into three laws. The law of negation was created to account for the tendency in nature to constantly increase the numerical quantity of all things. Entities tend to negate themselves in order to advance or reproduce at a higher quantity. It can be applied to the case of class and society. Here we have the landowner who is negated by the man who becomes educated in order to advance himself. He in turn is also negated as the cycle repeats itself. The unity of opposites is when two forces act against each other in order to maintain their relationship. In this example, if both sides of the dispute fail to come to an agreement, then the factory will be shut down and both the workers and owner will be out of a job. Therefore, they have to maintain their relationship to keep the factory open. The law of transformation states that continuous quantitative development results in qualitative leaps in nature, whereby a completely new form is produced. This is how quantitative development becomes qualitative change. Transformation allows for the reverse, with quality affecting quantity. Marx took these three laws, noting that each was connected through a constant tension and perceived dialectical materialism as material forces causing social and economic changes in the world, and viewed that human development is subject to the dialectal process.